Marie, Columbia, downtown Columbia now getting into the act here with the heavy rain and the gusty winds. And again, we'll be interested to hear. Um, we'll be interested to hear what uh, any damage reports. Hopefully they're none. Uh, but if we hear anything, we'll let you know. Strong bow echo moving up US-1 now. And this is headed towards Elgin. So Elgin, um, you've got about 15 minutes or so. If you have anything loose outside, might not be the worst time to, to bring that in. Um, and, and I think if there's one bit of good news here is that I'm not, you know, that we still have this very weak, very broad circulation here, but, um, it's actually reformed outside of the warning within the warning. I'm not seeing much. So let's see what Columbia does with this again. Let's, let's, let's give this time and let's not jump to conclusions until the weather service has feels good enough to get rid of this polygon. And we're keeping an eye on that for you. Um, and as soon as we can, as soon as we get the all clear on the tornado warning, we will let you know. Um, so, but my suspicion is that it is going to be, uh, if there's any, I mean, there's, there's nothing here that's really showing me, it's really giving me any cause for concern. As I go up into the storm, this is me going up into the storm. I'm not really seeing much that is giving me a ton of concern here. So uh, it's about ready to, the, the, the apex of the bow is about to cross Highway 21 near Ridgeway. And so we have some very gusty winds moving in there. Blythewood, uh, you've been in it now for the last 10, 15 minutes. Probably very, very windy. And again, Elgin, you're next. So if you're in Elgin, uh, get ready. Here it comes. It's moving up Highway 1. Gusty winds, perhaps to 60 miles an hour. Um, it's very heavy rain. I think the hail potential is relatively low. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't think that we're, yeah, we're not really worried too much about hail. It could be some small hail in that, but Really, the main concern is the damaging wind threat as it moves through there again. Um, okay, so we have a new severe thunderstorm warning that'll be coming up on the board here shortly. And I think this is the one that's going to extend. It looks like this is going to extend into Sumter. Um, and this is for this line that's moving eastward. So, okay, so it does not take in the town of Sumter. All right, does not take in Sumter. It takes in Camden, east over. Uh, Bishopville, Blythewood, you're still, you're going to be in this new warning. Downtown Columbia is going to be in this new warning. I think this other warning is about to expire. Uh, so again, they've, they've extend for some of you, the severe thunderstorm warning has now been uh, extended. Um, and it's been extended until, um, it's been extended until about 1015. The severe thunderstorm warning here. Um, you know, we do have a we do have a report of a tree down on a house, possibly, on Broad River Road. So we'll keep an eye on that. Um, no word on what's going to happen with the tornado warning yet. Uh, we're getting we're a couple minutes away from nine thirty, so we'll see if they let that go. We'll see if they decide to extend it further northeast. And there it goes. Um, so it looks like the tornado warning will be allowed to expire. Um, not sure if they are going to reissue on this. Again, the available evidence suggests that that probably will not be necessary. Um, let's just take a quick look at that. And again, sometimes we get some noise in the radar beam and we have to, it's part of being, <laughs> being an interpreter here. Um, so the good news is, is that we no longer have a tornado warning in effect. Um, uh, we're, we're okay there. We don't have any tornado warnings in effect now, but right now what we've got is now severe thunderstorm warning. And, and I would keep a close eye. This is, this is, this is interesting. We have another area of wind surging out uh, and a little bit of a notch here. So I'm going to keep an eye on that. Um, you know, east of Blythewood heading towards Elgin, but right now there's nothing on the velocity data that's giving me uh, too much in the way of concern here. You have some noise. You know, one thing that you'll note is that we have some noise that's showing up between Elgin and Camden here um, that we'll have we'll have to work through. 
a little bit. All right, so let's um, let's uh, let's do this, and so uh, we have a question about Pelion, and uh, this is a uh, further south than we've been looking. It's at the intersection of uh, State Highway 302 and 178. There's Pelion right there. You have some thunderstorms headed your way. You are not in a warning. You are not in a warning. Uh, these are a little bit more parallel to the flow, it looks like, so they're not going to be quite the wind producers. Uh, but there still could be some gusty winds, some heavy rain. Uh, it's tiny hail. Certainly can't rule it out. Um, but here's Pelion right here. There's in, in, and eventually Wagner and then Swansea and Gaston, kind of down 321. Um, not too concerned for you right now. We'll keep an eye on this. There'll be something to keep an eye on, but right now I'm not uh, overly, overly concerned. Uh, there could be a warning issued that down there, but um, I think the more likely area for a warning is where the line of thunderstorms is no, more north to south oriented. Um, a little bit more of a, uh, you can see a little bit of weakening in the, in the, in the echoes back there. That's the indication of what's called a rear inflow jet. It's basically dry air descending to the ground behind the storm and it dries things out a little bit as it does so. Um, so there's your, there's your bow echo here and this is going to head into Elgin. And again, I, I'm just uh, taking one more peek to make sure that uh, when I leave here, that you're not going to have another tornado. But again, um, no more tornado warnings. We're just going to be dealing with a straight line wind threat now uh, within the severe thunderstorm warning. So that is good. Um, we will keep an eye on this. We'll be keeping an eye on this. If you want to go over to YouTube, find us on YouTube at the Carolina Weather Net. We have all the warnings coming up. We have all the severe weather information that you'll need uh, automatically. Uh, but at this point, there's no tornado warnings on the board. Uh, so uh, that is good news. Let's hope it stays that way. And um, we're going to go ahead and uh, call it a stream here. Uh, thank you for watching. And hopefully, uh, hopefully <laughs> we won't be back until Wednesday night with for a regularly scheduled episode. But again, if you are in these severe thunderstorms, again, damaging wind gusts, certainly a possibility. Uh, we'll be keeping an eye on it. And uh, follow us on our socials at Carolina WX Group. And we will uh, catch you soon. So thanks, everybody, and uh, stay safe, and uh, we will...